Hello, Shannon. My name is Tim, and I'm 18 years old. In episode two, you said... I think, uh, meaning of life is to, uh, just, uh, take advantage and do what you can while you're on Earth, because it could end at any moment. So, like, like, whatever you want to do, just, just do it. Now, growing up, you hear stuff like that all the time, and you learn to tune it out after a while. For some reason, when you said it, though, it hit me. In high school, I got picked on a lot. I didn't really have any friends that I felt I could trust, and needless to say, I was battling depression. It was a battle I thought I would lose on more than one occasion. My dad kept trying to push me towards a career I had no interest in, and I just wanted to be a video game programmer. I'd spent nearly all of my near unlimited free time during high school learning how to program, and by the end of my senior year, I was more than ready. I had programmed 876, that's not an exaggeration, small games. College would have just been a huge waste of time and money because I would learn absolutely nothing useful if I wanted to be a programmer. But I was still going to go. Why? Because my dad wanted me to go into that career. Wouldn't want to disappoint him, right? And then I saw that episode of The Chris Gethard Show. When you said those words, it made me stop and think to myself, what am I doing? Fuck being a graphic designer. I have all the skills I need to be a programmer, and that's what I want to do with my life. I don't care what my dad thinks. And when it came to do the final registration stuff for college, I didn't do it. I acted like I completely forgot about it. And since then, me and some people I've become friends with started an unofficial game development company, and we are now working on our first large game together, and I couldn't be happier. Yes, in ways I'm still battling depression, but it's more like a game of Jenga. Sure, if people pull on certain blocks, I'll crumble, but now I can always build myself back up again. Thank you, Shannon O'Neill. You have given me hope. In honor of that hope that you've given me, I would like to name one of the main characters in my game after you. Would that be okay? Sincerely, Tim.